Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, today I will be giving you all a Q&A because I feel as if it's always good to kind of talk with you guys and have you guys to ask a lot of questions about my life and, and how I am and everything. Do you know what I mean? Before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel as well if you are a new person who is watching this video. But without further ado, let's get on the video. First question is, how do you feel about going back to college on the 15th of March? To be honest, I'm really happy about it. Um, as we haven't been able to do any practical, I do beauty therapy and oh my god all the theory has just been like so much and i feel as if it's a perfect time to go back to college i'll be able to learn a lot better as well because i am a practical learner so i do find it like harder to learn through theory work really so i'm very happy about it and ella if you watch this video i cannot wait to see you as well I'll return back to college like normal again but on the downside we do have to get like, like a Covid test every week and I've never had one before so like I'm kind of feeling a bit nervous about it but uh, I suppose it's just for the best really isn't it but yeah overall I'm very excited to go back to college because I'll be able to learn everything again and hopefully I'll be able to pass my course and it's my final year of college as well so I want to make the most of it I learn as much as I can and I'm passing get into industry hopefully so yeah the next question is what is your biggest fear I would say that my biggest fear is like going into the sea and it's like a lot of sharks and fish underneath me like I honestly hear that but when it comes to going on holiday I am absolutely petrified of going in the sea. I can only really go in a little bit and then I'm straight out because I am really scared of sea animals. Like they scare me so much and if I was to get eaten by one or bitten or attacked or anything it would be my worst nightmare. Like I absolutely hate the sea really and I just don't like it at all so yeah. I am not keen on that. What is your favourite clothing brand? So I do have a few. I absolutely love, 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 love the Zara clothing at the minute. Like, oh my god, Zara clothing is my favourite. However, their website is one of the hardest websites to navigate. Like, it's just so awkward and like it's just so frustrating to use. Who else agrees with me that the Zara website is just? I just don't like it. Like, it's so annoying. Another clothing brand that I like is Pretty Little Thing. Their clothing is very affordable. I love all their clothes on there. And I do actually order a lot from there as well. And I do also love Sheen clothing as well. Their clothing is really nice. Um, they're very affordable again. So yeah, I do love those three brands. Like clothing brands. What are you planning on doing after college? So after I finish in July, I'm hoping I'll be able to get into full-time work where I'm working full-time. If it isn't, if it isn't a salon or not, um, at least we're working full time. It would be nice to get into a salon, but it's so hard at the minute, especially with COVID as well. Full time work, as I have been, I'm working part time ever since I left school three years ago, which is crazy. I can't believe it's three years almost, but yeah, full time work. Like, oh my god, it'd be a big jump of hours for me. Definitely, like it'll be a lot of hours. Would you order from? LWS personal touch again. Yes, I absolutely love their prints so much and they kindly gifted me a gorgeous print. I just want to show you guys because I'm obsessed with it. Guys, they made me a personalised print. Like, what the hell? Like, look at this. It's so nice. It's a picture of Big and Scott and oh my god, it's so nice. That's our names on it and the day we got together. Look at that. I am obsessed with it. It looks really pretty in my room. I have it like over there in my room. But yeah, if I was to buy one, I would 100% buy one from you guys because I love it so much. Like, it's just my fave. I just love it. I just, I'm obsessed with it. 
like a lot <laughs> like a lot lot so what's your favorite thing that you and scott like doing together i'll probably say they're watching superstar on netflix because it's so funny if you guys have not watched it i highly recommend you do because it's so funny i think the 20 minute episodes and i think there's like 30 in a season or something but so funny all the actors are really good in it i think we've actually watched like four seasons all together so far which equates to like a 90 odd um series or episodes whatever you want to call it but yeah we do absolutely i love going to be in them um and whole bargains as well to look at all the little bargains of fabulosa but yeah love it what is your favorite designer handbag i would probably say that my most favorite designer handbag in my collection will have to be my lady to your bag i just love it so much it's such a classy bag such amazing quality like it it is a gorgeous nude colour and oh my god I love it so much. I only really take it out for special occasions as it is a bit more of a dressy upper bag but I just love it so much and oh I do look after it really well as well because it's just so pretty and just it's just so beautiful like I just love it like I really do like for my heart it's just so pretty and I don't know it's only a handbag but it's just really nice i'm just obsessed with it <laughs> as you guys can probably tell what is the one makeup product you could not live without i would probably have to say eyelashes and bronzer if it was really deep down between those two i'll probably have to say eyelashes only because eyelashes can change your face so much like if i took these off i would look so bald and so young like eyelashes are just a game changer in the makeup industry like i just love them so much like they are 100 my favorite part of makeup i just love my eyelashes just like i literally have a whole collection of them because i'm just obsessed at what age would you like to have kids um i would probably say around 23 to 24 um but i won't be any earlier only because like I'm only 19 at the minute I don't have um, like a full-time job at the minute I'm living at home still like it'd be nice to have a kid uh, when I have my own house and a nice boyfriend I'm hoping I'll be able to move in with Scott and we'll be able to have our own house and our kids together I think the ideal age for me would be 24 definitely yeah how did you get into YouTube so I got into YouTube by making a YouTube account at the age of like 13 or 14, almost five years ago. And I used to watch a lot of YouTubers. Um, like I used to watch Anastasia. I still do every now and then. Zoella as well, Alfie Days, and all those the type of YouTubers. And I wanted to start uploading YouTube, and I did. And I still have a lot of my old videos on my channel, which are awful, but. <laughs> I'm going to keep them on there for memories, but yeah, I already really decided to make one as I like to watch a lot of YouTubers, so that is why I kind of made one in the end. Where do you see yourself in five years? To be honest, I don't quite know. In five years, I'll be 24, so maybe I will have a full-time job by then. I'll be moved into like my own house with Scott, and I could have a baby on the way, but who knows? Um, You can't really plan your life, really, can you? But in the ideal world... It would be nice to have it that way maybe, but we can't choose really. So we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? We'll just have to wait and see. A final question to complete this Q&A is, what is your favourite Fabulosa scent? I absolutely love Fabulosa as a brand. Like all their like sprays, you know, all the cleaning products, it's just, I'm obsessed with. But I would say that, uh, my favourite scent from Fabulosa will have to be Electrify. Like, oh my god, it smells of perfume and it just smells so good. I think I might actually have one. Like, Fabulosa, this is my fave. Like, I just love it. Yeah, Electrify. I love it so much. I think I have this in the carpet spray as well, and every time I spray it in my carpet, I just fall in love with it. But it just smells so good. 
wear it. Oh, it just has like a gorgeous perfume scent to it and I love it and it's pink as well which makes it even better because I absolutely love pink. Oh, that smell is to absolutely to die for, I just love it. Anyway guys, here is the end of my Q&A video. I really hope that you guys have got to know me a bit better. If you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below and please also subscribe if you are new to this channel and I will see you all in my next video.